Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we're playing some more Rogue Lands and we have a new update out today, 1.0.8. I'm super excited that Joel's Dude and Pyrex are dropping new updates for the game. Uh, it makes me really excited to play the game knowing that if I keep playing, they'll keep updating. And that's a huge, huge deal for me. Now I want to get a Krieg run to work. Um, I've been struggling this morning to get a solid run, and it's mostly because my starting gear has been trash, kind of like this stuff right here. Please, I would love something strong to start out, just something good. Uh, we could go melee. Melee is the one build I don't really want to go. That's a nice RPG. We're going to take it number four. But something strong early on, like a, a TDR is good. We'll run a TDR for now. Let's see. Well. <laughs> we aren't spoiled for choice. That's for dang sure. Uh, Yeah. Trash, 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 and more trash. We'll take this, though. And get out there. Please have mercy on my soul, Skags. This could be robots, though. No, we're good. Early on, TDRs are, are kind of a nice way to... Cheese some early kills. Just fire and throw. Walmart weapons. Toss. Yeah, we burn through a lot of the ammo, but we also get a, a full ammo on the, the next round start, so. Not concerned about it. What I am concerned about is getting some legendary weapons. Like, I want to be more picky with my, with my gear, for sure. I just want good stuff. Show me good stuff, please. Uh, fine. We'll take that. So now we have a TDR and a fire and a corrosive option. Which is good. Which is nice. We don't have a grenade yet. Let's take a longbow shock transfusion. Booster shield? I'm good. Let's see. This... This TDR is going to be probably better than this Sniper. Simply because on Krieg, early game, as I'm building a mental model for how, how I want Krieg to work. For me, Roguelands is all about knowing how to operate your character at a base level until you get gear that can transform your run. And... For me, personally... Where's my launcher? There it is. For me personally, uh, on Krieg, this using TDR's early game because of our increased mag size in our left tree makes makes getting through these early rounds a lot easier. I'm I'm literally one shotting all these enemies. Yeah, it's I am using full mags, but like, it's so fast. These are both good. So we go over here to the left tree, and for each stack of Bloodlust, we're getting uh, increased magazine size. That's pretty nice. Uh, for TDRs, especially. Let's see, a doll, a Jacob Shoddy on the small map. We take purple weapons. Why not? Red chest me. Come on, legendary class mod, legendary something. Nope. Rubberized Slag Singularity. I like the idea of a just a lob transfusion that just goes out and gets and heals me back up. All right, what you got for me? More of kind of nothing. That's okay. Go next. Go next. Friendship gulag. Good thing I had this. <gasps> a corrosive TDR shotgun. All right, let's go back here, open this up. Nothing, no one's closing the gap to me right away. That guy's gonna cause me lots of problems, I can already tell. Hmm, no, no crit there. You're gone. You stop hurting me, brother. Boss, thank you. Let's see, what do we got? Pistol damage, corrosive damage. That's gonna be good for right now. Corrosive damage. 
Here we go. Not bad, not bad. You stop hurting me, guys. I never hurt you. Because you don't feel pain. You probably don't have pain sensors. Oh, yeah. Which is unfair, by the way. There we go. Looking okay. Keep Keeping the, trans the transfusion grenades up and just kind of rushing in there. Transfusion grenades. Keep them going. Keep them going. Yes. Okay. Clean. Very clean. Toss that. Let's see. We are looking okay. There's another pressure pad over here. Let's see. Ru rubberized slag transfusion. I like slag transfusions in general. All right, pressure pad me. Let's see. More nothing, to be honest with you. All right, so if we, we still haven't gotten anything that really puts us in an, any sort of direction. Uh, and so what I like to do is go towards strip the flesh to make my explosive damage stronger. And that's going to help me with my TDR tosses. Just still a ton of damage, so. Let's go. Where are you at, homie? Looking okay. Building up blood blood stacks. We're at eight. Let's just keep going. Let's get 16, 22. 27. 33. I think we can start. I think we can start tossing now. We'll be fine. Again, the more blood blood stacks we have, the larger our magazine size. And the larger our magazine size, the more damage our tosses will do because it's eating up more of our ammo. Which is good. But also bad. <laughs> because we're eating up our ammo. That's okay. Oh, I really thought I had a... A legendary in there. Let's see. Grenade capacity and kill skill duration. What is this skill called when that increases our mag... Blood-filled guns. Health regen per second. Shield recharge delay. Let's take the health regen. This is let's just stay up in our HP. Ye skag. By the way, Pokeball in here. Gotta catch them all. Maybe a singularity. Maybe if I throw a singularity in there. Cause you know how it like it a singularity like pulls things in. That could be. Look at those two large <laughs> thrusting hand cannons. That's crazy. I'm not taking either one of them, but. I, I really don't see a point in using Torgs when TDRs exist. Change my mind. <laughs> you, still, you still get the explosive damage, but like way more of it. You still get the grenade, da grenade damage scaling. All right, what do we got? TDR damage, TDR recoil. Yeah, we do TDR damage and TDR recoil. Oh, loot enemy. Gotta kill that one. That's, yeah, that's the only one that matters. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Oh, plot armor. He's got plot armor. That's crazy. Oh, gosh. Kill him. That's okay. We're okay. We're okay. Yes, yes. What is that? Don't slide all the way. Why would you even threaten to slide through that wall, brother? Like, it's a hornet. It's a hornet. When we have a corrosive damage relic, so. A twin hornet. Okay, a twin hornet could be really good for a, a fireborn create build. Let's increase our fire rate when our shields are down and go next. One point or one round away from a strip the flesh, which will give us more explosive damage. And a crunch class mob would go crazy. Let's shoot some brains, shall we? This this stage is easy to get overwhelmed by enemies, so I'm just gonna take them out early. Crunch class mod? No. That's okay. We'll take the defense for now. Uh, toss me. Just, just toss these laddies out there. It's transfusions, so they're gonna heal me up. There we go. 
Oh, whoa. That was sick. Fire, reload. That can honestly, I don't even have to reload. I can just fire. There we go. Get him. Stay on him, stay on him, stay on him. Reduce light off recoil, it's insane. Uh, I think I can get this guy before he runs away. Here we go. I need this. I should be throwing more transfusions. Slag, slag, slag. Couple shots. Shot. I can't reload anymore, though. You know what? You want to be a psycho? I can be a psycho too, brother. You're not the only one who can do that. That's a Ravager. That's going to be good. I already got that one in brain. All right. Dees. Dees, dees, dees. We have a Hornet for when we go up against armored enemies, which is nice. Alright, jump here. We head up. So the Hornet is a good is a good weapon for us if we want to go Hellborn, just because it's gonna do dot damage, it's gonna be a corrosive option that's gonna help us against fire enemies. What's our number one like what's our number one most sought after? Oh, that's kind of an interesting TDR. Yeah. Yes, yes. So if I could, I can maybe tag and bag with some slag with this thing. Oh, it doesn't count. That's crazy. There we go. Shoot the brains. Um, actually, I kind of wanted to shoot this guy with this. There we go. Hit him. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, that is nice. Hey, where'd you go? Hey, stop you guys, guys, relax, I'm on your team. I can't hit him with this, I need to switch it up and go with a Hornet or something. Alternator too. Wow. Uh, a turtle shield? No thanks. You're going down, brother. He's definitely resisting, but it's fine. Really? An elephant gun? Ugh. Dang, I want something good. Let's see. Absorb shield, turtle shield. Something good, please. There's a TDR there. Um, It's pretty much the same, only this one's slightly better. So we'll take this one. I want to thank that other TDR for what it's done for us, but it is Borderlands. We can't get too attached to the weapons that we've had in the past. That's even better. I want to thank the one that I just had for doing what it did for us. We're getting options. We, I mean, we've got a decent amount of TDR options. Sounds the voices plus six could be really, really nice, but let's, let's increase our explosive damage. Mines of Avarice. We can do it. We have what it takes. Yes, I'm really hoping to get some decent uniques here that can... That can really supercharge my build. Alright, let's go. Toss. Just keep tossing. He's already gone. So how can we... Let's... Let's stack up some, some stacks of, hmm, how can we stack up a little bit faster? Maybe we just use this SMG up a little bit. The 57 stacks. Toss. Toss. Those are good chunks. Those are good chunks. All right, toss. I'm not sure what's hitting me so hard. But I'm just going to ignore the mobs and just keep tossing. There we go. Ignore the... Ignore the... 
adds and keep tossing if you get the chance. Okay, a corporate yellow jacket, a Miss Maki's good touch, and a Jolly Roger. Okay, this is what I'm. This is, this is what I am looking for. A good touch is perfect. Let's take a yellow jacket for our third, and I really like the Jolly Roger. I do. Oh, another hornet. All right. Two. Oh, I'm nervous about a grenade spawning. That's nice, though. That's nice, because now I can... Now I can set up for... A, a respec. Let's, let's keep... Let's keep my health regen the way it is. But let's respec into my favorite build, my favorite skills, and that is Hellborn Creek. These two gotta go. Gotta get stacked up. And elemental empathy. And we'll, we'll fill it in as we go. Now, with a good touch, with elemental empathy, I think, I think we can have enough healing and damage resistance to push through with Hellborn Creek. Which is what I wanna do. Which is what I wanna do. There we go. Now, do we have the, do we have an adaptive shield already? If we do, that's that's it. Hundred percent, what we want. Boss. This is perfect. Perfect. This this Miss Maxi's good touch is maybe is is up there in my opinion with one of the best uh, weapons in the game for this build. I think the Heartbreaker might be a little bit better. But the good touch, you can't really go wrong with it on Hellborn Creek. And if we run into, like, oh, an armored enemy, I can just pop out this times two Hornet. By the way, which one's better? <sighs> Reload speed. The fire rate's worse by a, a, a decent amount, but it's times two. I think the times two is going to be good, especially because we're not necessarily going to be using it as a primary weapon. I see you. Damn, this good touch is a beast. Let's go. Five stacks of uh, elemental elation. Things are looking good. I would like some reload speed. I can go left tree all the way down and right tree all the way down to be happy boy. Let's see. I want the reload speed. So we go down a couple. Plasma cast for me. Oh, ho, ho. holy. That was sick. All right, five points. I think we're going to remain here. Let's, let's take, while you're on fire, taking damage from enemies will spawn homing balls of fire that seek out the attackers and explode an impact. Fireballs can only trigger once per second. That's fine. Uh, let's take all elemental status effects are good. Can light and light me on fire and flame flare, increasing the duration of all burn effects on me, which is which is what I want. The more I'm on fire, the more damage I deal. Big. Now there is a little bit of a cheeky setup that I like to do for organizational purposes, and that is, I put fire in the middle, and shock. I like to scroll up. I like to scroll up once for shock and scroll down once for corrosion. This is me though. A rubberized slag transfusion with a 0, 0.00 fuse time. Yeah. Rubberized is growing on me a little bit as far as a, th a thrown type. Hey, chest. Uh, do you have a loot midget? Oh, imagine though. Imagine if that was loot midget out of his gourd. All right, what, what do we want now? Well, we don't have a class mod that buffs us up quite yet. So we want a class mod that buffs us up for fire damage. On top of that, we are we would like a hmm, I mean a heartbreaker would be really nice, but it's not essential because we already have a good touch. Nope, I'm good. Okay, let's move on. We can do this. 
Opportunity. So corrosive damage is going to be good here. But not right off rip. It's a common common mistake. The first couple enemies that you get in this stage are a red HP. So don't swap over to corrosive yet. Just, just, just wait a second. Don't take go right away. Homing balls of fire. There we go. Scroll up for shock. See ya. See ya. Scroll back down. You're gone, bro. Alright, now we want to keep these transfusions going as we do our best to take out this constructor. Keep the transfusions going. Brits only. Yes, come on now. Die, Constructor, die, Constructor. I never get to kill this thing. Sense reason me. There we go. Now we're back to our good touch. Which will keep us healed up. They resist fire, but honestly, I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> yes. Good round. That's what I'm talking about. That's a really hard zone. Right, what do you got for me? Shotgun damage could be good, but not right now. It's not. Let's see. Malo on fire rate. Yeah, I think Malo on fire rate. Because we're using a good touch so often. Yeah, I think that could be good. It's only 18%, but it's something. It's not zero bonus. Okay. More stacks of flame flare would probably be good. Increased gun damage. The reason why this skill is good, in my opinion, is because increases to gun damage are hard to come by for Krieg. And so if you can get increases to gun damage, it's really, really effective. But I kind of want weapon reload speed more. This entire tree is good. Like, the entire thing. Once you get going, like, once you have your fire engine online with, a, you know, a heartbreaker or a good touch, a bad touch, and... Again, a heartbreaker or a good touch, and then other options... Uh-oh. I just actually want to press Buzz Action Rampage. Maybe we can kill this angelic guard. Maybe we won't. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. You're going nowhere. I need to switch to my hornet. Hornet me. I can't die. I can't die this early. It's just not. It's just not possible. There we go. There we go. We're looking okay. We're looking okay. Keep tossing my transfusions. There's a lot of them, but there's also a lot of me. Yes, we're looking okay. I don't want to get stuck, though. Angelic guard? More like... Angelic bard. <laughs> it doesn't... It doesn't make sense! <laughs> doesn't have to make sense. HP loader gone. Are you hiding back there, bro? Just quit shocking me. Barrel? Okay. Intense, but we made it through. Well, this Hornet. Holy cow. Just want to point, some, point that out. More relics is good. Jacob's recoil or shoot recharge rate. No, I'm good. Um, I think we can enter this if we just walk on top of here. We, you can't actually grab it from there. You have to jump all the way up. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's grab this one. That's it. That's fine. We're up twice. My launcher here. Nice. And then you... Oh, wait. Do you just shoot this, right? Or... No, you blow that up. Yeah, there you go. Not bad. Not bad stuff, but... Oh, here we go. Totally worth. Sniper rifle damage, please. I snooze it. All right, and finally, let's weapon accuracy and reload speed. Again, I really like the Hellborn tree. I think the Hellborn tree, it requires you to get started, get off the ground. It's really hard to just jump into right away, but once you get it popping, once it gets 
a little bit a little bit going then it becomes just really insanely strong I think I might have to scroll up for a little bit of shock scroll back for a little bit of fire you can try to damage me brother but it's not gonna feel good for you all right let's let's kill this first bunny rabbit let's see do you got a shield nope no shield if you don't got a shield, your life's gonna have no yield. <laughs> what do we got? Nothing. Mutated lab rat. Let's scroll up for shock. It's very, very slow. Projectiles on that yellow jacket, but that's okay. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, mad dog. What's up, homie? Eat this. Yeah. Nice. Okay. What did you drop? He dropped a grog nozzle. You know what? A grog nozzle? Could be really, really, really good. What does it replace, though? I don't know. A hornet for now? Until I need the hornet back? Nice. All right, let's go over here and shoot this next bunny rabbit. Hoi yeah. Wow, oh, they didn't they didn't count. Okay, warning. Okay, I don't want to end my run. I don't want to end my run, please. I don't mean to be out of bounds. I don't get why the cliff can't be the out of bounds, but that's just me. Maybe the cliff is the out of bounds. Ooh. Okay. Red chest me. We got pretty lucky to get such great uniques from that Dwarven Mine mini-boss, that's for sure. Alright, the last bunny rabbit's right there. What are we looking for? Adaptive shield, maybe. Uh, to do... The thing is now, if you have a Grog Nozzle, that means that I don't need a rubberized transfusion grenade anymore. I can run something like a big fire grenade or like a fire burst, a corrosive cloud, a Tesla. You know what I'm saying? A lobbed incendiary transfusion. A lobbed fire burst. I'm gonna have. Hmm. I'm gonna have some faith. But first, I'm gonna. Oh, burn damage. Let's equip it. Let's equip the burn damage one. What skills does it give me? Yeah, that's gonna be good. Uh, I'm gonna have some faith in a fire damage grenade. Let me just drop most of this stuff out of my inventory. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, y'all ready? Boom! Nice. I dropped my Jolly Roger on the ground. How much do I want to drop my Jolly Roger? Not that much, to be honest, dude. Let me, let me find it again. There she be. And my my other hornet is also on the ground right there. Now I want to. Let's take this Merv. A lobbed fire burst. Uh, and this lobbed incendiary transfusion could be good too. Alright. The points we're taking. Let's go and max out this tree. Do we want this? Yeah, you know what? I just like to take every point in this skill tree, honestly. I'm sorry. This is what it is though. I like what I like and I do what I do. Hellfire Krieg is good for me and it's good for you. Yes! Yes, a boss that I can just rinse. Let's go. Now, this melee shield's gotta go. It just simply has to go. Let's do a lob incendiary transfusion. All right, snowman. It's time to burn a snowman alive. Oh, I, I still will never be able to get over it. this guy's intro. Look at him. Holy, he's he's upset. Alright, this guy's immune to slag though, so there's no reason to be slagging. What you got, homie? Oh, you hit me? Guess what happens when you hit me? I'm gonna hit you. I have I have decreased crit damage, which is tough, but this is what it is. Do 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 
Don't put me down already until you spawn some other dudes. Oh, yeah. That's all five of my transfusions going already, though. I want to find out how quickly I can get my health back after swapping to a grog nozzle. Let's just let him hit me up for a little bit. It's not fast at all. It's not fast at all. In fact, it's really, really slow. Oh my gosh, no. Look at look at them scatter. There we go. Get some damage going. This guy takes no damage. I thought I was going to be just fine against this guy. He takes no damage. Because I'm not shooting him. Here we go. Now I got stacks of... Bloodlust stacks. Dang. Kill this guy. There we go. Don't hit me with that. Jerk. Plus a transfusion. Jump backward. That one hurts a lot. Do 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 back up. That one hurts the absolute most. All right, I'm okay with it where this where this runs at right now. That's the best attack for him to do. I need to stay close enough that he wants to keep doing it, and then back up, run up so he wants to keep doing it. No, not cool, man. Stay close so he wants to use his breath attack. Stay close so he wants to use his breath attack. No, not that, not that attack, brother. Turn around. Oh! Transfusion. Health on the ground. Where are you going? <laughs> Jump backwards. Get up closer to him. Yes! Your hat's going away, brother. No hat for you. Yes. Alright. Back to full HP. We're looking good. Woo! Will we, will we be able to kill a raid boss? I don't know. There's a lot of damage. But I believe. Give me all that. Let's see, an ogre? That's interesting. An ogre with an explosive damage? That's very interesting. Let's see. A blockhead? A sheriff's badge? Or an evil smasher? I think... Also try Minecraft. Is we can try a blockhead. Um, let's see. Any good shields? I need a shield. There's no doubt in my mind that we're gonna be hitting the box. For some better for some better gear. Alright, five points. Let's take Let's take magazine size and let's take weapon swap speed. Yeah, let's take weapon swap speed and go next. All right, what do we got? You give me something good. What is that? That's the tiny, that's the large bunny. Okay. Come on, what is this? What is this? A Wanderlust or Hector's Paradise? Okay, well, you never know until you know. I'm probably going to be doing some Google research on these weapons before I head into, head into this. Just so I can make an unprecise bunny. Well, it is what it is. Armor is on my character. I'll be right back. Okay, this is my Slurple Purple Krieg. He's looking pretty sick. Now, I did uh, some research on a couple of these weapons. The blockhead shotgun could be pretty good. Um, and that's because those projectiles, it, it scales off grenade damage as well as incendiary damage. It does a lot of splash damage as well. So that could be really, really good if we invest into something over here. 
especially because we have a shotgun damage relic at 32, 33%. We might give it a try. Another weapon that we might give a try is the Hector's Paradise. It really is going to depend on what, what raid boss we get. Do we have any leftover radium? 61? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take some grenades for transfusion purposes. And let's go. Who do we get? Who do we get? Who do we get? Who do we get? All right, Pete. I row Pete. What's going to be our best things? Let's take some transfusion grenades and Hector's Paradise. Hector's Paradise. Let's go. Model 1 fire rate? Let's not. Let's do... That's fine. That's, that's, that's fine. So we got some decent options here to take on Pete. Let's do it. Where you at, brother? Boss. Okay, good, good, good. Not bad, not bad. He slacked for a long time. It's good. Boss, one more. How's that damage? Um, it's not the greatest. But we're pumping it into him. The magazine size is helping out. We're almost out of ammo now. Alright. That weapon's gone. Need to toss a grenade. And I'm gonna go um, cleanse my debuff for sure. Come on, Pyro Pete. Go down, brother. We're doing okay damage. It's not. It's not ridiculously low. Kind of wish I had bought some SDUs instead. All right, let's cleanse our debuff. Keep, keep that going. Run through the flames. Run through the flames. There we go. We're okay. No way! Alright, let's get that going. It is nice that when he puts me on fire, I can, uh, get stronger. Right, he's under half health now. I right, but I'm out of ammo with both of my main weapon types. We can get ammo from across the room, though. Let's not get too close to him until we toss a grenade. Come on, homie. Nice. Not bad. Pick up all this. Toss a grenade. We're getting him down. We're getting him down. It's working. Out of grenades, though, which is a really bad sign. We're going to spawn some more enemies. Alright, let's do it. Get some, let's get some grenades back. Cleanse our debuff. No grenades back. Oh, what is this? No. Oh, there's still one enemy left. Oh, good. I need to cleanse. I need to cleanse and get some more guys to spawn. Cleanse. I hit. I hit it. I hit it. I got a power if I want to use. Okay. Pyro Pete, you're gonna die, brother. We're gonna get you. Plus grenade. That's fine. On the ammo. I would like to know where my grenades are at. Uh, this is not good. This is not good at all. They're moving way too fast. There we go. I'm okay. I'm okay. Just, I, I'm taking too much damage. I have no grenades left. 
just gotta try to kill Pete. I'm one HP. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, I live. Woo! Jeez. What is that in the ground right there? A punchy. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. The electric chair. The truth is often the. What does this do? Whoa, whoa. That's a cool grenade. What do we got here? The Patriots. It's a Vladoff sniper. Okay. I'll be looking that up to make sure I'm, I'm making the best use of it. The pitchfork. Not the greatest loot. Something for like a Nirvana or something. Maybe a. Let's see the antagonist. Deflex bullets. Yeah, I think the antagonist will get me better. Now that we could go like a fire damage melee build, but I kind of want to keep going with what we got on. Let's see. Yeah, I think that not a bad kill. It was close, but we, we got through. Ooh, I can breathe for a second. Let's I'm going to go ahead and Google uh, the. This Patriot and see if it's going to be worth using. Okay, so the Patriot, when used, um, it's it's it has a slow moving projectile and low accuracy. This is the Patriot, right? Yeah. The bullets don't always go where you fire them, but I think we could use it. The only problem is the biggest problem I have with it is that I have a skill that increases my weapon damage with everything but sniper rifles. Yeah, except snipers. Which is tough. Um, I could go the Wanderlust, which is a. It's a. It's a, reflect damage, weapon, so the bullets just kind of go over the heck they want, and they can deal damage to me, which is tough. Either way, we have we have to do this and keep moving. Layer of infinite agony. Ooh. I want to thank the Hector's Paradise and the Plasma Caster for getting me where I, the Yellow Jacket for getting me where I needed to go. There. Let's slap back on. You take up so much space, Craig. Do you know that? Whose idea was it to put a character in front of the UI? All right. Yellow Jacket. Let's put on the Good Touch. Very nice. These are fine, I think. Which, I'm sure one of these bunnies is better than the one I've got going now, though. Yeah. All right, let's go. We got a Neo Generator as well. I would have liked a... a different shield, but that is what it is. What's that one called? The... the Evolution or something like that? The one that just pretty much blocks all dot damage? That could be good, too. Either way, we're fine. We fi finally got past the boss. I don't see us surviving that long at tier 2, but we can try. Because the blockhead could be really, really good for me. And the electric chair could be good, too. Oof. That was a tough run. Very tough. Right, what you got for me? I kind of like the idea of... Ooh. Nah, inflammable is bad. We don't want inflammable. We need to be lit on fire. Let's just take this... Ad no, there's no way I can take the adaptive shield over the one I've got. Sorry. Let's see, what do we got in here? We could use a new... Dang, we could, we could use a new class mod, that's for sure. <coughs> I was hoping for maybe like a legendary or something. Where'd my hornet go? Let's take off this, this weapon and throw on a hornet. There we go. See ya. 
They're going down. You ain't going to live, brother. Nice. Super nice. This horde's kind of a beast. And actually, we can... Make sure we slap on corrosive damage. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Uh, it's the second time now when I'm playing Hellboard and Krieg. I'm like, I kind of feel better about corrosive damage enemies or armored enemies than I do about flash enemies. All right, go down. I want to give some of these other fire weapons a try, though. That's for sure. Running around the outside to collect all of our stuff. Let's see. Max health and health regen. Grants health regeneration? Yeah. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let's go. We want to be tanky. We want to do damage. That's what I'm talking about. All right, five points. Let's do... I kind of want to do feed the meat. Getting a kill with a grenade or explosion increases your gun damage. If I rock a, if I rock a blockhouse, that could be insanely strong. We need the damage. So let's, I want to, I want to get prepped for a blockhouse. Let's try it. Let's put the, the yellow jacket in the back of the pocket for now. Oh, the blockhead. Here we go. So we're going to try using this blockhead because I can toss it for TTR damage. And the large magazine size will be very helpful. I think it could be good. We're going to be combining the two elements of Krieg that I like. Because that's the TDR toss and the... The fire damage as well. Let's see. Grenade capacity, kill skill duration, burn damage. These are all the same. All right. What's going on, homie? Toss. Nice. Okay, we're okay. I'm just getting dragged in. I'm getting dragged in. Not bad. Not bad at all. Go, my homing balls. Yeah. How is it just... How is this thing just... On regular damage? Oh, wait, hold on now. Oh. So, let's go, baby. This thing could be a beast. Uh, let's toss a grenade at him to drop his shields. Got no more shields, brother. What are you going to do? Nothing. That's exactly right. Yeah, this thing is strength super badasses. And that's exciting. Could be a really nice weapon for me. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's go. See ya later. Explosive damage could be really good. Boom, boom, boom. Kill some pirates. A legendary class mod is kind of like the only remaining... Later. Oh, this thing is insane, bro. It deals splash damage. Killing an enemy with a grenade or explosion increases gun damage. Let's see. Hmm. I kind of want to get to this reload speed skill here. I do. So which one do we take? Let's let's take boiling blood. It's the only one that makes any sense. All right, we climb up to the very top. Absolutely not. Jump. We are. Anything back here? Yep. Got a red chest. See, assault rifle max ammo. Cooldown rate. 
or corrosive slag and non-elemental resist. I don't, I don't think we want any of those. Let's go next. We're going to be able to get two capstones, which is nice. Alright. All right, there's no reason to me to, for me to force it. We have a hornet ready. Don't force it. Use hornet. Can I run through this entire zone without getting damaged? I think I can. That's going to be really nice. Nice. Huge. You get increased gun damage whenever we get a kill with an explosion. So we're kind of popping off. Toss this down. And just play inside here. If they, if they wanna if they wanna play this game where they're hiding around, let them let them eat a giant shock. Grenade. I like it. I like everything that's happening right now. Oh, where's my chest? <laughs> I swear there used to be a chest right there. No? There's one. What up? Could be a good rifle. Alright, five points. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna get some extra reload speed. And the extra reload speed is gonna go ham. Hmm. This chest is out here now. I think they might have They might have removed this door opening. The way we're fine. Let's go next. <laughs> the Badlands. So we are grenades and we are bullets. Grenades and bullets. We're not really running any slag. We are stacking up our our bloodlust insanely fast. Oh, ho. that's what I'm talking about. The, a fire ruby. It's it's. Mm, I don't see it being that good. I mean, maybe. It's, it gets a maybe in my book. What do we got? No, our grenades are actually kind of dope. I'm not going to lie to you. Health regen and melee damage. We're going to stick with the one we've got. So one, two, three, four. There we go. Blood explosion. We are looking nice. Let's increase our max health. As far as skulls go on this map, we should we do we even need to shoot them up? I mean, might as well. There we go. Number two coming at you. Underneath here. Really? What a miss. This thing's a super nice shoddy, honestly. We went back here. Pop goes the weasel. The final skull. Hopefully I get some decent rewards here. A Nova Shield, a Booster Shield, a Sticky Longbow, Slag Singularity. If I was playing zero, but my grenades right now are kind of dope. I'm not going to lie to you. The fact that I can throw them all down and run through them is just synergizing with my play style too well for me to kind of abandon at this point. Rock up distillery. I'm not afraid. Ask me the questions, gatekeeper. I am not afraid. You know what I'm talking about? At the happy couple. All right. Slag. You get slagged. You just stay inside my zone. No, stay inside the zone. There we go. We can probably honestly just stick with this for now. Switch, switch to this. Yep. Happy couple is dead. Don't kill me now. In fact, let's just yeah, let's swap to our grog. We can just grenade in grog, honestly. That was pretty easy. All right, what do we get? The order shield, which would be nice. This is this is kind of all the whiskey tango foxtrot or a cohesion longbow. My only fear about the the longbow with that sniper is that I I don't get increased damage with sniper rifles. So, is what it is. Sawtooth cauldron. These should be fleshy enemies. 
Alright, let's just... We can honestly probably just grog. Grog and grenade our way to a victory here. And like, we don't really need to shoot fire damage because we have enough fire damage coming just from our... Oh, Gravedigger was up, haven't we? Holy cow, it's so easy. Alright, toss that. Yeah, this is this is actually working out really well. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and I can breathe fire on lads. Yes. Fire. This this gotta be one of the better grenades for this build because it shreds all their shields. Burn. Let's go. Now we're starting to use our brain. We get any more points? No, we're out of points. That's okay. We're gonna keep moving. Keep moving. I know I could open more red chests, but I kind of want to keep pushing. Leaning forward now. Now it's starting to make a little bit of sense. I toss a grenade. This is the grog nozzle, right? It is. Okay. I kind of want. I kind of want to try a ruby out. Now, I also want to try out this Wanderlust, but I want to try out the ruby because it doesn't he it doesn't heal me as much, but it's also fire. So let's try it. It's gonna heal me a little bit, and it's fire damage, so that might be a little bit better. Whoa, whoa! What's going on with you, buddy? Oh, yes. Yes. Whew. This is what I'm talking about. This is this is Hellborn Creek. Hey, get off me. Now, I'm not too sure if this is better than the Grognazor or not, but it feels good. We're shooting a fire weapon. Health returned on kill. Yeah, but that... No, I'm not doing it. I already have health regen from my class mod. From my relic, and I, and it's not going to reduce my fight for my lifetime, so. I'd rather just keep the one I got. Let's go next. Um, I must claim my reward first, of course. Let's go next. Tier 2. Dreams come true. What's well, That's an awkward black screen. This could be the end of the run. That was weird. We're fine. Let's go. Uh, Hornet. It's time for the Hornet. Yes, sir. Nice. Very clean. Keep it up. Yeah, the extra bullet damage after getting a kill with an explosion, just... It just goes insanely hard. I kind of underestimated, like, how just just one skill, just one skill in the Bloodlust tree can go super hard because they scale so insane. Alright, what do we got? Nothing good. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Yes, yes, yes. Better class mods? I'm wondering what the best class mod would be. Because do I really need the extra burn damage? I don't know. I like it. Like, I gotta think about what's actually, like, doing the damage for me. What do we got? Nope. Neither of those are what I want. Let's go next. Oh, collect our reward first. Of course, of course. One. Pew. South Posteam in power. Switch, switch to my ruby. Right, you guys, you guys get lit up down there. How about that? You're next. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Plus one at my feet. Now we're getting a lot of grenades back as well, I believe. Amp shield, we're okay. Open up. Assassin Watts. And a big laddie. Do I just switch to a grog? Maybe? Oh, we're, we're okay. Nothing to see here. I'll screen at this lad's feet. Nice. Sir Hamlock's Rex. I don't need that. I don't need either of these. Go next. Mount Scarab Research Center. Does this guy resist fire? If he doesn't, he could be in trouble. I don't think he does. I don't think he resists fire, everybody. I think he's in trouble. Dude, every time you hit me, I'm gonna hit you back even harder, so you might wanna just chill out with that. Alright, you get a kill from me over there, grenade, and that way I can get increased bullet damage. Thank you. That was easy. Hey, class mod! Yes! A burn damage one, perfect. Huge. Shoot that, what do we get? Let's see. A rabbit kitten. An energized commerce. Or well kept. The kitten is the only one that I... That I see being worth it for me here. And it's mainly just because it's shock. And for no other real reason. Oh my. A reward. Oh wow, which one do I want? How do I... Need to compare, right? Ignite chance, max health, burn damage, magazine size, shield recharge delay. Blood filled guns, blood twitch, empty the rage, feed the meat. Oh, I see. Burn damage. Which ones does this give me buffs to? Oh, man. This one's just kind of bad. What this one? One, two, three. The only one I'm not making use of is Empty the Rage, which is fine for me. I like all the rest of these. Okay. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. Let's do it. F2 me. Let's go. Which raid boss would give me the most trouble? Uh, maybe Hyperius, but I feel good. Let's get some SDUs going. Starting with... Pistol. More grenades. SMG. Shotgun. Pistol. SMG. There we go. And we can immediately just FTO go next. Terramorphous. That should be fine. Let's swap on to our... Um, I think... I want to give the Wanderlust a try, but I don't think it's going to be that good. What I do think is going to be good is this uh, Blockhead. So, the Ruby, you've done a lot for us, but we're going to go on without you. I think the Grog is maybe a little bit better. Alright, let's see what we can do. Terramorphous, which means I, I would have much rather liked to see Terramorphous as my third tier raid boss because now I'm probably going to get dragons and I'm going to die. <laughs> That's okay. I'm happy he, it's a ground-based enemy. And um, right, let's, let's try some Wanderlust. I'm not too sure how that's working, but... Block at me. Not bad.
Come back, Terra. Where'd you go? All right, toss this. One toss, reload. Yep. I'm surprised it's not doing as much damage. We have to reload a bit. Yeah, we back up. I'm not getting enough dots. Not nearly enough dots. There we go. Now we're gonna do some damage. No, I went down. Here, please spawn in. Somebody. There's somebody over there. Terra, please. No, that's okay. Hey, it was a really fun round. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one. We should have played maybe around a Ruby, maybe around our Grognozzle to heal back up. I wasn't healing as much. I wasn't doing as much damage as I thought I would. That's okay. Anyways, bye.